Hey guys, welcome to the WNL World Championship Finals. These are the general rules. First, there'll be a course demonstration at the beginning of the first wave for each division. There will also be a living document with these rules listed on the website with the link in the description below. First, we would ask you to chalk up before in the chalk zone designated for each athlete before getting onto the starting platform. You can have chalk provided for you by your coach while on the course. This is for courtesy of other athletes. Resets will be allowed on the platforms for stages one and two. However, they will not be allowed on stage three. Um, for the trusses, trusses will be considered incidental contact. However, hands only are allowed on the truss and you cannot grab over the top. Uh, all platforms must be touched. There are no skippable platforms. Um, and anything that we mention on the obstacle will be considered in play. If we do not mention it, you can assume that it is out of play. Hey guys, this will be the course rules video for stage one, mature kids, female. Obstacle one, we have quad stomp. You will be on the starting platform. You have hands and feet on any of the blue for the steps coming through, coming to this platform here. And clear. Obstacle two, this will be a hands-only obstacle. We have windshield wipers, you have a rope, as well as four bars to get to this dismount here. And clear. As you guys are dismounting, hands on the step, for incidental is okay. For obstacle three, these steps will be feet only and then hands only on any portion of the cane. You have the steps here, another cane on this side, another set of steps, and then one more cane at the top here. It is allowed anywhere on the track to get to this dismount here. and clear. Nice job. Obstacle four will be turbo rolls. You have these six rollers for this group. The rollers two, four, and five will roll. This is a feet only obstacle. This obstacle is cleared when you touch the rope for obstacle five. Obstacle five carousel, hands only on the rope, the ring here, and you will dismount to this platform on this side. Clear. Clear. Incidental on this column is okay. Obstacle six. This will be a hands-only obstacle. We have the swords. You have the rope. Any portion of the sword beneath the black tape there, handle or the hilt, is in play. You have the four swords to dismount to this landing platform here. Clear. Final obstacle, obstacle seven, we have beetles. This is a hands-only obstacle. You have a rope here, the blue handles on the bottom of the beetles, another beetle here, blue here, as well as the blue here. The handles on the last beetle up top, although blue, are off and out of play, only the handles at the bottom, and then you'll be dismounting to the platform here. This is a touch and go platform, so if you hit that platform and then you overshoot, you can then come back to hit the buzzer. It is the athlete's responsibility to engage the buzzer and you also must make contact with the platform.
And that is the end of stage one.